Bye, everybody. It's incredible to be here. Um, it's funny, I was telling the story earlier today. I actually was introduced to Cosmos in general about a year and a half ago by the Polymer team. Um, I just left Silicon Valley Bank like way pre the blow up when stock was like $200, $250. And we were at a point where I had come into BitGo and I had no idea what I was doing. I was told to build out the VC portfolio and extract as much value out of VCs as humanly possible. Um, I ran into this kid who was like 24 years old, and he was talking about this ecosystem where there's no marketing, and they fucking love it. But there's no, nothing going on in terms of the actual outbound effort to go and extract more money from the ecosystem. It's all about building things that are really, really important or actually solving problems with the ecosystem. So I was like, as the guy that had just come from a bank, I was like, this is stupid. I don't get it, and I don't understand where we're going um, if we're going to start integrating into an ecosystem like this. Now. I now lead new coin projects at Bitco. Um, I had gone from doing this VC stuff and following the VCs to following the coin projects. Um, when I started doing the actual research and actual technical analysis of the ecosystem as a whole, it was incredible, incredible to see what the problems that you guys are solving actually turn into when it comes to dollar value saved for Bitco when we integrate things and also for all of our clients, right? Um, this is another really, really important thing that I want to talk about, but I think, first of all, what I want to say is qualified custody is boring as shit, and it should be. This is, this is something where stodgy, slow money from traditional finance that are dropping 50, 100 million, 150 million dollar cliffs into the space do not want to, under, to not understand what's going on. They don't want to work in a space where they're nervous about where their, where their money is and they want something that's regulated, right? BitGo has regulated entities in South Dakota, New York, Switzerland, Germany, and we're adding Singapore. We're in a place where we're bankruptcy remote, $250 million of insurance, and it's edible. If you talk to the people at BitGo, and you guys are talking about the things you're talking about while you're here, I would say 70% of them will have no fucking idea what the hell you're talking about, and it, it's purposeful, right? It's important that they're like that, because when they go and talk to T. Rowe or Point72 and those guys, they're the ones that can speak their language, right? So qualified custody coming to Cosmos in a meaningful way is incredibly exciting, because Realistically, at the end of the day, this is where it's not going to be a million dollar clips, it's not going to be two million dollar clips, it's going to be 100 million, 150, 250 million dollar clips that come from BitGo's 65 billion in assets under custody. Um, and again, custody is a shit business. You make basis points, very, very small thresholds of money on, on this. So we are going after massive, massive aggregation of value, and we are trying to figure out how we actually move liquidity into places that we are passionate about and that we believe can actually continue to grow and continue to be value additive to the ecosystem as a whole. So there's a couple of way that, ways that we do that. And in general, this one is, I think, the most unique and the one that I kind of want to focus on a little bit. And this is WBTC coming natively to Cosmos. Um, Big <laughs> BitGo is the founder of WBTC and Ethereum, and it was something that was built as a passion project, similar to what you guys are doing here, right? Where it was unbelievably um, put together, and at this point is one of the blue chips in traditional like Ethereum DeFi, right? So this coming to Cosmos is something that allows for BitGo to unlock liquidity in a safe way for our clients, right? Our focus is how do we make sure our clients are happy with what we're doing. They're asking more and more about Cosmos and more and more about this ecosystem. And with doing something like this and abstracting away a lot of the risks that they feel like they have, even if a lot of them are unfounded. Like I heard a million presentations this week about the, how bridges are improving, how bridges are getting better. And I think there will always be a place for both. Like I think it's very important that we have both. These are people that, that are comfortable doing it that way and they actually believe in the trustless aspect of that, right? Bitco is centralized, like full stop. Bitco is a centralized organization that the job is, is not to solve a problem for everyone, it is solve a problem for people that are highly regulated and are trying to figure out how to get money in size into ecosystems that are solving really hard problems on the traditional finance side. So I think when we talk about things like this, this is a value add. It is not a end-all solution. It is not the only thing that will, that will 
perpetuate more liquidity coming into this ecosystem, but what it does do is it shows that there is institutional liquidity has the ability to move in here, and when they have Bitcoin, which is a significant part of what, what BitGo holds, right? Like it's over 50%. And we're trying to figure out how do we unlock that for guys like you that are building things that actually really change shit and actually make stuff really, really important. So very, very important, very exciting. And I, I think, and I'll let Sonny opine on when this is actually going live, but something that is, it's built. Like we are, we are ready to roll and this is something that in Cosmos we're very, very excited to see what actually ends up happening here. Um, the second piece, and this is more for all of you guys, like we are very, very involved in making sure liquidity gets into this ecosystem. We have a full capital introductions function. We are focused on getting people in front of the right people. And we're focused on continuing to grow this ecosystem holistically. So if anyone is raising money, if anyone needs help with raising money, please feel free to send emails. We will do everything we can to make sure that when we support an ecosystem, we're supporting it across the board. It doesn't matter if it's DeFi tooling, it doesn't matter if it's gonna be a BitGo client, like we don't give two shits. Like our goal is when we build this, the tooling needs to be there for our institutions to use it. So if the tooling isn't there, we're not gonna be able to do much to actually be able to, to stop that. Now what I would say is you guys are really far ahead. Like in my opinion, and this, again, regulated institution, this is my opinion about all this stuff. Like, you guys have a lot of the tools already to be able to, to facilitate our, like, our clients. What I would say is we're trying to hop on the bandwagon after you guys have worked your asses off for a very, very long time to do something really, really meaningful. So at this point, we're going to try to scoop up as many of these, of these chains as possible, support as many of them as possible, and make sure that our clients have everything they need to be successful as they get more involved in this ecosystem, because they're going to do it whether Bitco's there or not, right? So our intention is to make it easier for them, and also to make sure that we're able to benefit as much as humanly possible as you guys continue to build things very, very quietly, like, like I've told, and as you guys continue to get louder, and as this continues to get bigger and bigger, like, this is, this is insane. And... I feel still very much like I am learning every single day while I talk to all of you, and I think I, I spent time with a lot of you over the last couple of days. But what I would say is, like, we're still going to be a pain in the ass, stodgy, slow. It's hard to build regulated products in, in crypto. It's hard to get through the regulatory and cut through the bullshit of, like, what is actually happening right now. And a lot of this was planned to be about regulatory clarity. I have no fucking idea, like, where the regulatory environment is going. But I think what's important is as long as we build those highways, as long as we build those roads and you guys build things that people want to use and fix problems that we're seeing all over the place, like, you are, you're saving our ass over and over again. Now, what I would say is the last thing, selfishly, like, we also benefit greatly from your technology. Um, I was telling this to, to the Polymer guys earlier, like, it takes us six months to integrate a normal L1 chain. It's hard, like it's a very hard thing because we have programmatic hot wallets, we have qualified custody, we have, we have APIs, we have all this stuff. We're like TSS wallets, multi-sig wallets, all of it. Um, when we do Cosmos chains, it's six weeks and we can do six in tandem. So it is the same amount of developers, but that allows for us to greatly benefit from what you guys have built on a fundamental level. And like those are the things that from a, from a VC side and from a business side, right? Like our intention is still to, to get value, still get billions of dollars in our custody. But when we can go and we can integrate 15 chains in a year versus two, it allows for us to have a, a lot more meaningful of an impact on this environment as a whole. And our intention is to figure out how we can continue to support IBC and continue to support other people building in this community because it saves us so much effort, so much time. And what you guys have built at a very, very base level is incredible. So at a very, very basic like level, thank you. Thank you for being very welcoming to Bitco getting involved. Thank you for osmosis. Like it's, it's awesome that WBTC is coming and that we are very, very excited to launch this into this ecosystem. Um, Bitco will always be boring. We're not supposed to be we're, like exciting. And if you need anything from us, always feel free to ask. We're always happy to put you in touch with the right people. So great to meet you all and, and talk soon.